Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog where we are in Costa Rica and it is incredible. We have only been here for four nights and I'm finally picking up my camera and introducing this vlog. But yeah, we've just had the most amazing time. So I thought I would talk you through what we've been up to so far and I've taken lots of footage. So I will pop the relevant clips in. So we flew here on Sunday feeling slightly unprepared because we weren't 100% sure this trip was going to go ahead. But thankfully it did and we are so so happy to go away because I don't know if you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while you'll know that we were planning a big travel trip in 2020 which of course didn't end up happening and um, we were going to do a central and south america and also canada and um, but instead we bought a house and got a dog and yada 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 so <laughs> we didn't get to do a big travel trip but now we are doing two weeks in costa rica instead so we have 14 days and yeah we are loving every second so far we flew from london obviously to San Jose and we just stayed one night near the airport which we're really glad we did because you know when you just have got off the longest flight and the immigration queues were insane and everything so yeah we're really glad we stayed one night and we stayed in this really nice little hotel that was really close to the airport I'll pop a clip in had a really nice little garden it was just really basic but it was lovely and then the next day we hired a car from Adobe rental car which we highly recommend we are very happy with the service and the roads here are actually really great so I'd really recommend that as a way to travel around. So we then drove to our first stop, which was a Manuel Antonio, which is just incredible. We had the best time. We only had three nights there, and I definitely could have done a few more, but yeah, it was just absolutely stunning. The drive was about three hours, and it was such beautiful scenery, and it's like a very beachy place with national parks, so you've got kind of like the jungle side, and also the beach part, so it like ticks all the boxes in terms of adventure and things to do but also relaxing on the beach and we stayed in a place called igloo beach lodge and i'm going to insert some footage now of our room tour there we have arrived at our first proper place igloo beach lodge in manuel antonio and i thought i would show you around we need to bring our bags in this is our view from our room which is really beautiful it's so hot here and then we've actually been upgraded to a room that has not one but two beds one each, isn't it? So we're it's sleeping great. separately, right? <laughs> no, we will probably just use one, but it's so cool. We've got this hanging rail here. I love it. It's quite like modern, rustic, very Bali vibes, isn't it? Um, TV, which apparently is linked to Netflix, which is cool. Little shelving here. And then obviously the other bed. And then in the center, we've got a sink, fridge, towels this mirror which lights up excuse my very sweaty face and then this whole room to the left is a shower which is cool there's really amazing amount of what are these called amenities no amenities what are these the amenities what are these just like what do you call toiletries that's uh, the word yeah. they do <laughs> have a proper name don't they that'll be super handy and then the other door on the other side is a toilet with another sink and a mirror. So super happy with this room, isn't it beautiful? Yeah, it's great. So nice. I'll show you more of outside in a bit, but it's so hot we need to get into our swimwear. Um, but yeah, so stunning. They're obviously meant to be like little igloos. Not all of them have the kind of picturesque moss on them, as you can see. Um, so I think when you look on Instagram, it's a bit swayed as to you basically take a picture like in front of the two really nice ones. Yeah, I kind of expect um, that though, but yeah. I cannot wait to get in that pool.
we basically spent our time there eating lots of amazing food, chilling on the beach, um, chilling. <laughs> chilling. Mm. <laughs> Sam is like trying to fix his drone, so he's inputting from the side. And on our first full day, we visited N Noyaka Falls. Is that how I say it? I think so, yeah. Noyaka or Noyaka Falls. I'll put stuff in the description box as well, which was absolutely amazing. We didn't realize it'd be such a long walk to the waterfall. Um, it was about an hour drive away, and then we just kind of thought in our heads, oh, it'd be like a 20 minute stroll down to the waterfall. No, it was like an hour or more, about an hour probably. But in the heat, it was just so hot. It's like 30 degrees, so sweaty, but it was definitely worth it because it was absolutely stunning and then to swim in the water at the end was amazing. So yeah, it was just truly a spectacular. So I'm definitely going to do a little montage from the falls. <laughs> Like I said, the rest of the time we just ate lots of great food. I'll be sure to pop all my recommendations of cafes and restaurants below so that it's easier so you can like see what we did on screen but then I'll pop the information below because that's just easier, isn't it? And then you can always start on Google Maps. Any recommendations if you're thinking of going to Costa Rica? But yeah, Manuel Antonio was absolutely incredible. Like we just had the best time, didn't we Sam? Yeah, loved it. It was so good. Oh. Did we do anything else that I'm forgetting about? Oh yeah, the national park was incredible. We saw loads of monkeys. We saw sloths. Well, kind of from a distance because they're sleeping a lot. Sam's come to join me. Hello. Um, yeah, I hope that this vlog is making sense. I would have put all the cool clips in it. But yeah, Mama Antonio, we wish we had more time. It was just a really chilled vibe, wasn't it? And our hotel was a two minute walk from the beach. The food was incredible there. Yeah, we just couldn't have asked for any more. This, oh my God, the sunsets. I forgot to mention the sunsets. The sunsets were epic. I'm sure I've already put footage in, but if not, I'll put more in right now because they were amazing. Anything else from Mama Antonio? Um, 
obviously we haven't experienced the other places we're going to just yet, um, but so far, I mean, it tops it. It's pretty good so far. <laughs> That's the first place we've been. And then today we did the sort of five hour drive over to La Fortuna, which is where we are right now. And that was an okay drive actually, wasn't it? Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. The roads, like you say, the roads are actually pretty good. Yeah. Only a few bits which where you have to be careful of potholes, but most of the time it's really good. Exactly. Like it's quite like, it feels like it's been, all the roads have been redone really recently. So it's really easy to drive. And because yeah. we've been to places before like Morocco, Indonesia, Philippines, where you just would not dream of hiring a car, would you? Because the roads are mad and also like local drivers just like they just there's no rules on the road yeah whereas here it's all very like similar to england we found anyway the, yeah the drivers are actually pretty good on the whole like, yeah everyone, so patronizing. everyone's very respectful drivers are great no but like yeah <laughs> yeah but in general everyone seems to like obey the rules it's actually quite nice yeah, yeah. and in general like we found in costa rica everyone is really friendly really nice like it feels very safe um i just wanted to touch on that quite early on in the video if you're thinking of going it def well so far we've found it to be really safe yeah everyone's really nice and it's nice to know a little bit of spanish but also most people know quite good english as well so it's quite good communication wise but anyway so we did the drive to la fortuna which is um inland so we've gone from the coast back inland um and we have the most amazing view of a volcano right now which i'll show you in a second and our plan here is just to what's our plan here we've got kind of more jungly things to do you know well, the rest. we need to finalize what you want to do yeah we haven't even planned it yet but, this is um, so unlike us we need to go for dinner and there will plan. be there will be another waterfall there yes. will be some hanging bridges yes so we should see more monkeys. Yeah, more wildlife. Yeah. Yeah. The rest to be decided, I think. Let's go back in time first, and I'm just going to show you a room tour that we did earlier when we arrived a few hours ago because it's so good. <laughs> Look at this view from our room. This is insane. <gasps> How beautiful is that? Yeah. I actually can't believe this. Are you happy with it? Yeah. Volcano Arenal. Arenal? How do you say it? Arenal, volcano. Oh my gosh, that is so stunning. So cheeky room tour. We've got two beds again. We just shared one last time, but maybe we have to rethink that. Maybe we have to have one each this time. What do you say? I'm down for that. <laughs> Oh my god, I literally can't believe this. I don't think the view of the volcano is clear like every day, is it? So we've been super lucky. You can sit out there in our rocking chairs, Sam, like old people. Um, and then we've got a mirror here, dressing table, wardrobe, fridge, aircon, and the bathroom. Looks lovely. Random plant next to the toilet, just what you need. Amazing, oh my god, this is so nice. And then if you open the door, and then, oh, listen to that. So peaceful. I cannot believe it, and we've just got to park our car there. I'm so excited for this one. This has actually really exceeded my expectations. Yeah, hasn't it? It was a bit of a surprise for you, wasn't it? You went yeah. You know I feel like this. I haven't really looked at it much. And we've had a little look around the hotel, haven't we? And it's got a swimming pool with a view of the volcano and also hot springs. Yes. Yes. Yep. And we haven't been to the hot springs we yet. Oh, yet. we need to book them. We haven't even said where we're staying, actually. What's this place it's called? It's called Arenal Manoa. Arenal Manoa. Man Manoa? Manoa? Ma Manoa or... Yeah, probably Manoa. Arenal Manoa <laughs> Hotel and Hot Springs. Yeah. Um, Near La Fortuna. So we've had a pina colada, we've got ready for dinner, we're gonna go for dinner next. Um, the restaurant is kind of expensive, so we're probably gonna only eat here one night. There's a bunch of other places in town that we've had recommended that we want to try as well. So Yeah, we'll so have... we'll just eat here for the one night, yeah. um, and then we're gonna go in the hot springs tonight. So hopefully that'll be nice. I bet it's cooled down a little bit. It was a little bit cooler over here as well than on the beach. I'm sure we'll chat to you tomorrow with what our plan is. I'm a bit sad. I was just trying to start out my drone. I think I've broken it like permanently. And we haven't even night. used it yet because it's obviously first... like most countries you can't like there's loads of rules about where you can use it. So we've not even used it yet. Have we? It's first flight in Costa Rica was also its last I'm afraid. 
which is really sad <laughs> because it's one of the few countries around here where you can bring a drone and use it relatively freely. No, you can't use it freely. We've struggled to find oh, anywhere. No, in, you just in, contradicted me. Okay, as in <laughs> within the rules. <laughs> what? No, but like as in you can do it if you if you register it and you do it in the in appropriate places. Right. So we found a nice quiet beach today, and then I basically launched it and uh, it crashed it and into the sand, and now it's it's ruined. <laughs> So, yeah. It'll be okay. Oh, well. <laughs> so, yeah, just to recap, Mamma Antonio, amazing. We're now in La Fortuna for three nights, and then after that, we are going to Tamarindo for seven nights. That will probably be in a second vlog, but we will show you all the rest of La Fortuna in this one, and I hope you enjoy. We out. We out. Good morning, it is a beautiful sunny day and we are just getting ready to go to Mr. Co Bridges, Hanging Bridges. Try and do a chocolate and coffee tour this afternoon after lunch in town. So yeah, we will take you along with us on this exciting adventure in La Fortuna. <laughs> fun day haven't we yes dear we hanging did. bridges hanging bridges tour which was fun in the trees it's very americanized again isn't it like quite touristy but it was good it was good views and it then was. we really enjoyed we did a coffee and chocolate tour i would have put footage in of that and it was so good i usually don't love those tours because i find them a bit touristy and uh like boring, boring. and kind of you know me like too much information but that yeah yeah but like really interesting yeah, but it's because usually I feel like you just do it to tick a box and it's not actually that good, but you're just like, oh, we should do it. But it was actually really good. So interesting. So. The tour guide was amazing. Again, I'll write in the description who it was with, but they were called North Fields. Yeah. And yeah, it was so interesting. It was like two and a half hours. We ate lots of chocolate that we made and uh, drank lots of coffee and it was lovely. And then we had a nice lunch in town and we've just been chilling. And now we are going to an Italian restaurant, of course. <laughs> Which has really good reviews. Yeah, should yeah. be good. So we will report back, but I'm excited to have some pasta and some wine, and we're late, so let's go. Immediately piling in on the tiramisu. That is nice. Um, and we're just getting ready to go for dinner, aren't we? Yeah. This is my 
Well, I thought it was a snake, but Sam says it's a swan. I think I'm pretty sure it's a swan. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was a snake. Um, but yeah, I feel like we haven't vlogged in a while. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, where did we get up to? So last night we went to that Italian restaurant. Yes. Yeah, that was really nice. I recommend if you're coming to Costa Rica and you like Italian food, why not? I had too much wine and it was your fault because what well, was Sam's It was nice fault. wine though. It was like Chilean. It was, no, it was really Italian. Nice. Italian, a, Italian yeah. Merlot or something. Yeah, 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 I had a Merlot. Um, and you know, and it was a giant glass. And you know when you should stop at one, but then, you know, you don't. So you have another one. <laughs> but anyway, that was lovely. And then today we went to a La Fortuna waterfall, which was nice. It's... Again, quite to it's just quite touristy here, isn't it? But it was it was good. I'm glad we went. I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. I think yeah. And Sam had a swim, whereas it was too like vicious for me the waterfall, so I didn't go. You're in. You're not actually allowed to go like into the waterfall really, anyway, are you? You yeah. can like you can just go in the water next to it, and downstream you can swim. It just wasn't as good as the other waterfall we went to in Manuel Antonio. Yeah. I feel like if you do that first, then everything else is like not as good because you can swim peacefully there and. It's like a little bit of a bigger space, isn't it? So even if it's busy, it still feels yeah, that was, a bit more Yeah, that was chilled. a bit better, I agree. Yeah, this was just quite built up again. But anyway, so that was good. And then we went to a local, like, small waterfall. What's the name of it? El Salto Rope Swing. Yeah, and there's a, yeah. Yeah, there's a rope swing there. I had to go on the rope swing. I don't think we got that on camera, though, did we? Oh, no, we didn't. I got it on my phone. Um, but that was nice. We chilled there for a bit. And then we had a very delicious lunch at a place called... Chante Verde. Chante Verde, which is sort of 15 minutes away from my hotel in La Fortuna. And it was so good. We had burgers. I do. I promise that we have eaten some Costa Rican food. I feel like I actually haven't vlogged any, any Costa Rican food. But on our first morning, we had like a we've comida had, typical. Yeah, we've breakfast, had gallo pinto breakfast. a couple of times. We had gallo pinto. They basically just have like rice and beans at breakfast with egg and stuff. Like we've had that. Um, and then... What else is typical? Oh yeah, we, we had that for lunch in had yeah. Like we ordered like typical Costa Rican food, which is basically just rice, beans, plantain, chicken. Um, what else was on that? So there's like a little tortilla thing that has like potato and bits in it. That's called something. I can't remember what it's called now. But we have eaten Costa Rican food. I just don't think I've actually captured it. And it's perfectly nice. It's just we probably wouldn't want to eat it every single day for every meal. So that's why we're eating burgers and stuff as well. And there's so many nice restaurants here. And we loved it so much that we're going there for dinner right now, aren't we? Yeah, it's good. They've got a nice menu. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yes. Boop, boop. And then I might vlog a bit of that. And then we might finish this vlog later tonight or tomorrow morning. Because tomorrow we are heading off into the last bit of our trip. We've been here for a week already. And we're going all the way to Tamarindo, which is going to be a long drive, isn't it? Um, you look very nice in your shirt. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we're going to drive from here to uh, Tamarindo. It's going to take, yeah. I think it's going to take about five or six hours, but we're also going to stop for um, another waterfall on the way. So it's going to be quite a long day, but it should be good fun. Yeah, so we've done. We've been here for a week. I've been without Basil for a whole week. Don't even talk to me about it. <laughs> I'm literally, every day I talk about him, don't I? I know. Well, <laughs> I'm so annoying. Every day I'm like, I miss Basil. I hope Basil's okay. So yeah, we've been here for a whole week and then we've got one week in Tamarindo, a full seven nights in the same hotel. Cannot wait. That's going to be in a new yeah, vlog. That'd be good. We don't normally do that, but I think we just thought this time, let's just try and stay put for a whole week and it'll be more relaxing, won't it? Yeah. Let's go to dinner. We need to go. It's actually quite a long way. Okay. It's just... Right. Buenas noches, amigos! <laughs> I'm just throwing food out the window for it. Oh, uh, that's not good. You're not supposed to do that.
we made it to our final destination. So I'm going to end the video here because we are going to show you this incredible hotel in the next video. Isn't it amazing? It is. It is oh, all nice. It's so good. Um, so yes, I really Can hope... Squat. I'm not always having to squat to be in a video. You're just too tall. Uh, so yes, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we got up to in Manuel, Antonio and La Fortuna. If we had to pick one, which one would you go to? Oh, that's actually a really difficult question. They're both great. Is it? Yeah. I would definitely pick Manuel Antonio. We did some really cool stuff in La Fortuna. I really liked the hanging bridges and we loved the chocolate and coffee tour. But overall, the weather was better in Manuel Antonio, and you got the jungle and the beach, so it was a big yes, yes. for me. Yeah? Uh, no, yeah, totally. We got The weather is better down there, for sure. Yeah. It would be nice to have one more nice day in La Fortuna, like clear day, and we could have gone on a hike or something. Yeah. But yeah. It's hard, it's hard to fit everything you want to do in, isn't it? Yes, you can never do everything. You can never do everything. Unfortunately. But anyway, please give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, click the subscribe button so you don't miss our next video. And we will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.